The hanging drop technique allows you to look at your live organisms for an extended period of time. Materials that you'll need for the hanging drop technique are immersion oil, a concave slide, and the samples you'll be working with. In this case, this is amoeba proteus. So let's now demonstrate how the hanging drop technique is conducted. So first, you prime the tip of your immersion oil bottle. And once you have a little on the tip, then simply um, touch it to the slide. Now you notice there's a, quite a bit there. So you're gonna wanna just keep touching this drop and then putting a drop in other areas. Um, and you can leave this slide at the bench and other people can touch and do the same thing to their, to their um, cover slips so as we don't waste any um, immersion oil. So, so let's do that right now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a drop from here on each of these four corners of this cover slip. So now that we have our four drops on the cover slip, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our sample and using a dropper, we're going to pull from that sample and place it in the center of our cover slip. Now the droplet has to be small enough to where it doesn't make contact with the back side of the concavity. So let's go in. In this case, the amoeba proteus is the hardest to find because most people end up trying to get in and they push once they get into the medium and it stirs them up and amoeba, they don't, they, they, amoeba tend to just hang out on the bottom of the container. So you want to go down to the bottom. You want to first press your, your bulbous pipette. And then once you go into the liquid, go all the way to the bottom and slowly suck up some of that debris. Now what I like to do is I go to another cover slip that I have set up. So I, I set up a, another cover slip and I just, I deposit everything that I just sucked up. Okay. So next what I do is I take that same pipette, I squeeze it, and I try and suck up from there just a little bit of what I put, some of that debris. And then I put a, a small drop, a small drop in the center of my cover slip, like so. Once that's done, you can take your concave slide and make sure to know which side the concavity is on. So think of a concavity as entering a cave, right? So a concave slide is going to arch down like so. So you want to make sure that it does that on the, on the top part of the slide because you're going to be flipping that over and very carefully you're going to make contact with the oil that's on the cover slip and then you're going to flip the slide over. So as you'll notice, your droplet is now hanging in the center of your concavity. With this method, you can look at it under the microscope and this droplet will last much longer and will not dry out as fast as the wet mount that you just performed. For the other two protozoan that you'll be looking at today, euglena and paramecium, you will not have to be as careful in taking it from the container. Simply go into the liquid, press the dropper, and suck up some of the liquid. You can do the same thing I did with the amoeba where I took a large amount of the liquid and placed it on a cover slip and then draw from that to put your drop on your cover slip for your hang drop. Once you have finished once you have finished looking at your hang drop slide, you're going to go over to the sink where you'll see a bin resembling this, and you will carefully push off your cover slip into this bin and swish your hang drop slide in the disinfectant. Once you have finished doing this, wash your slide off with soap and water and reuse it. 
We will not be disposing of our hang drop slides. Once you are finished doing once you have finished using it for viewing all of the protozoan today, you will remove the cover slip, rinse it in the disinfectant, wash it in the sink, and then return it to your TAs. The medium today that we will be using in order to confirm our preliminary observations regarding the motility of the microorganisms we will be viewing, the Micrococcus luteus as well as the E. coli, we'll be utilizing a medium called motility medium. Motility medium is, motility medium contains less auger. It's at a 0.2% concentration. This is less than other mediums that we employ in this laboratory. For instance, the slants, the stabs, and the plates that you worked with last lab are all at 2% concentration auger. The motility medium stab that we're using today is at a 0.2% concentration. This allows for the organism, if modal, to move through the medium. Now, there's an additional ingredient in this medium that allows you to visualize when motility occurs. This ingredient is TTC, or triphenyl tetrazoleum chloride. When utilized by the organism, the TTC will allow you to visualize the movement of the bacterium through the medium. TTC, when used by the organism through oxidation reduction reaction, will produce a red color. And this red color will appear as a horizontal red haziness around the line of inoculation that permeates through the medium. An organism that's able to produce this red color horizontally from the line of inoculation is referred to as being motile. Any organism that produces red along the stab but does not permeate through the media horizontally is referred to as being non-motile. So please use the results of your motility stab to either confirm or reject your preliminary estimation on whether or not the organism was motile or not from your observations with the wet mount procedure.